Hello everyone, welcome back. Now, the next one that we have to look at is configuration ports, which is in page 79. Let's go there. And this time, in this ports, we are going to talk about uh, polling ports. Okay, file polling ports. Let's go there. Okay, let's click on this file polling ports. Okay, and where can I get this? Under here, servers, just above scheduling, which we saw in the previous video. Click on the ports. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on add port. Let's let's talk about the other parts later. Click on add port. Now here, there are so many options. Okay, and in this case, all I'm going to look at it is file polling. Submit. Now, <clears throat> as the name itself says that it's trying to poll a particular file. Right, it's trying to poll a particular file. So obviously, I need to have from which package I'm going to pull the file. So let me do one thing. Um, I forgot to add a service. Let's add a service. Okay, close service. Close service. Okay, and here I'm gonna say, or else let me do one thing. Let me actually create a package called as folder called file polar and within that I'm going to create a service file polling okay file polling just going to add an abstract map step nothing else so let me refresh it again ports add port file polling submit and here I'm going to select this one POC web methods so POC web methods alias is this is the one this is the name i'm going to give file polling description mm, that's fine i'll give the same name see monitoring directory it says that in which directory do you expect me to monitor whether there's a file or not so obviously i have to create a directory i'll create a directory here saying that monitor file and i'm going to properties okay Click on this, select this, select the path. I'm I'm going to monitor this file. Okay, this is the location where I'm going to monitor the file. Do you want to specify any working directory? Which means that once the file has been picked up, it will automatically move to working directory. And once it is completed, it will automatically move to working directory, in completion directory. If there are any error, it will go to error directory. It is asking, do you want to specify? If you do not specify, then web methods itself will specify it for you automatically. Let me show that how, okay? But as of now, I'm going to not specify anything, right? So is there any file name pattern? Is it like, do you want to say ending with .txt, okay, or .csv? Is there any specific file? I said, no, pick any file, whatever you get. Do you want to check the age of the file? No, content type, again, it's like, do you want uh, text slash XML? Uh, I'm just making it up, okay? Or um, application application slash XML or application slash JSON, something like that, okay? Now, allow recursive polling, enable clustering. We we'll look at it later. File log file extension not required. See number of files to process per interval. I'll say take only two files at a time, or I can just leave as it is. Now run service as user. Obviously, I'll click on administrator. Then. Enable, obviously I need to enable here, which is the service, or which is a service. So this is a service, which means that once the file, assume that the, here you have a file. Okay, and let me bring this up. Once the file is available here, once the file is available here, say some file is available here, automatically this service will be triggered. This service will be triggered. Okay, this service will be triggered. That That's the intention behind it. Now, here interval I say every 30 seconds you check it okay log on when directory uh, this this is something I would leave it do you want to have any cleanup service like once the file has picked up and it has moved to moving working directory then it is moving to error directory some if you have any additional logic that you want to add it then please create another flow service and add it over here something like that I don't want that I don't want that okay I'm gonna save it Okay, invalid maximum number of invocation, which is that saying invalid maximum number of invocation. 
it's throwing an error invalid maximum number of communication valid range 1 to 10 okay i think this one i guess okay let's see no not this one all right sorry not this one okay sorry i'm sorry this see th all of them are optional i'm sorry all of them except this is not optional this is not optional and this is not optional this is not optional so you have to check which is not optional and here this guy maximum number of invocation threads how many threads you want to keep it so one that's it one thread is enough save it now if you can see here it has been added okay it has been added <coughs> now if you see here uh, one more important thing if you see here our we are connecting with the port of 5555 create clean okay see 5555 and if you see it's in access mode is in allow mode in a similar way the diagnostic port which is 9999 it is in deny mode okay now if you have to work with this directory if you have to work with this directory i need to make it as allow mode okay allow mode so to do that click on this and here i set set access mode to allow by default which means that all these services will be will be in a position to access it okay click on this that's it go back return to port list go back see now it's in allow mode and if you go back here okay see here if you go back a little bit see here as i told you we created only this we only this but see web methods created an error done and work ideally what happens is that when the file gets picked up when the file gets picked up it will move from here okay when the file gets picked up it move it will move from here to here and then from here to here if it is done in case if there's an error say if there's an error then it will go here the zigzag lines okay cool now um is right um file polling port and if you click on this it runs every 30 seconds okay it runs every 30 seconds um what else scheduling uh let me see if there is a schedule created because of this file polar let me see because i have created a task just let me check if there is any task that has been created here i don't think it has been created any task that's fine return to scheduler are there any scheduler created here no but there is a port which is which is running every 30 seconds now what i'm going to do i'm going to as usual debug log paste it over here paste it over here and save it and i'm going to say file polar executed okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to place a file here monitor file this is a this is a location i'm going to monitor place a file hello dot txt that's it okay now just let's see i'm going to refresh it it should pick up every 30 seconds okay right see there you guys it's gone okay it's gone i'm just pressing f5 it's gone I, I kind of paused the video for say 10 20 seconds now it's gone now if you can see here it has moved to done directory see as i told you it moved it has moved to done directory and it has appended see it has appended with a name file polling and with this okay and if i go back to is um and check the logs see here file polar executed and this is what i've written here see file polar executed and if you can check the timings just to clarify see it's 7 10 pm and if you can see here 7 10 see okay 7 10 7 10 so it has executed perfectly fine now that's how it picks up the file now once you pick up the file obviously you need to uh, have the necessary instructions given here that to get the file read the file you have to do a lot of things okay you have to do a lot of things but this is how a file polar works that if you have placed any directory if you have placed any file here it automatically pick up and it will process further right i hope you guys have understood the concept of a file polar and yeah that's see that, that's about it for this video let's see what else we can learn in the next tutorial until then thank you